the comfier seat if I'm quite honest but if I was willing to go and buy one of these I'd definitely try and get one with those Recaros. So modifications on this one today we have a Toyo sports exhaust system all the way to a Scorpion bat box which sounds fantastic all of that beauty and sound and naturally aspirated goodness is coming out of a 2 litre 16 valve engine with 197 brake horsepower, 200 PS. But enough of all that boring stuff, the stuff that you don't really care about because this is a driver's car. Let's throw it into some B roads and see what this chassis is like. Slightly 
bumpy B road, which is a bit of a shame. But I think that's part of it. I think that's part of the fun and the excitement of these cars. I love how um, organic and old school this car feels. It's a 2010 model, but it feels so engaging. You know, The power, of course, it's 197 brake horsepower, it's not going to rip your face off, but I think you'll be able to enter a corner a lot faster than the big boy cars. The steering feel, the quicker steering rack looks on these cups, is a lot more engaging than I remember it being. It's very precise. I can feel so much through the steering wheel. When I'm going through a corner, I can really feel the position of the wheel and how it's gripping and how much more turn I can actually put into the steering. Incredibly rewarding car, this. <laughs> Super impressive. I can see why people are buying these for track cars, especially. I do uh, watch a lot of channels out there that do have these as track cars, so I can straight away see why, of course, this isn't track focused, this car whatsoever. It's a road going fun car. But my God, I can see it's just so poised in the turns. You can throw this thing at any sort of, I'm gonna say any speed, but you know, be sensible out there. It is an incredibly rewarding drive, this car. <laughs> and it sounds awesome. I'm really, really impressed with how this thing sounds. So a quick rundown for people that might actually be interested in buying one of these. So thank you for staying for this portion of this video. You'll get one of these for around £4,000 these days. This one has 84,000 miles on it. So about four to £6,000. Yes, it's very vague, but it really is down to those seats, the Recaro seats, how much mileage bits done to it. But you can generally buy one of these for sub £5,000 very, very easy. If you were to go and get a 197, they're incredibly cheaper than that. You know, I've seen them kicking around two to three thousand pounds. Tax is 245 pound a year. Insurance is really down to where you're from. So please do your research on your own insurance before getting yourself into one of these. And average MPG on this shoot has been 20 MPG, which I think is really good considering we've been enjoying this. And you'll get around 250 to 300 miles. This is quoted from the person that owns this car from the tank of petrol. So yeah, guys, I think this is a really good buy at the moment. They're very cheap for what they are. You know, 2010 for four to 5,000 pound, I think is a really, really good deal. If you can insure one, of course, make sure you look into insurance, make sure you're able to insure this before you go down this route. But I think you're really gonna be rewarded as a younger driver for enjoying this sort of car because it does feel old school. It's newer inside, it's comfier, it's a little bit more refined. So yeah, I really think this is the best old school version of a new school car that I've driven in a very, very long time. And that makes me incredibly happy because I love old French cars. <laughs> so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you haven't, please leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of the RS200, should you go and buy one? If you have one, give some information to the guys below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll select for a gear for this one. I'll see you all on the next one.